Oh, all right, if you've ever thrown away whole boxes of salad that are unopened because you're going fishing, hit that subscribe button. I was wondering why my dogs were so fired up this morning. Over your shoulder right there is an absolute full moon. It's like 77, 78 degrees out right now. It's like freaking gorgeous. It's like four o'clock in the morning and we are departing to Alabama. So Charles and I, just last week, we did a uh, South Carolina round trip. We're going back to Alabama to pick up my boat at the Bass Pro Shops in Leeds there. Uh, you guys are gonna ride along once again. Is anything cool gonna happen today? I have no clue, but you guys are gonna be there just in case it does. So, strap in, we're out. flapping in the wind on the trailer and then as I look here it's like probably about the size of a bass boat 20 feet long of weather stripping look at she's calling right now pull over it's coming completely off holy it's about to be Charles <laughs> look how long it that camera rolling. you know you know what's gonna happen when you go to slow down it's gonna rip off because it's gonna hit the ground because it's that long Good little safe spot to pull over here after getting yelled at by some crazy lady following me. Plastic trim. It's like 35, 40 feet. See, I'm telling you, like you can have a brand new RV and like that's just like the whole RV experience. <laughs> it's like you could drive it right off the lot and like something's gonna go wrong with it. But uh, yeah, there's always something wrong with an RV. I'm surprised it hung on that long. That's crazy. Oh, we're definitely clipping this tree. Are we good? Wow. I mean, you barely brushed it. Oh, all right. The morning started out at about four or something, 4.30 or something like that. We made it here before closing, before four o'clock on a Saturday. So last week I dropped my boat off here to get it serviced and, and my, my service manager, Dylan, I've been in touch with him all week long, really cool dude. Went through the engine, went through all the little knickknacks, couple little couple little repairs on the boat. They did a great job, you know, with communication and everything. So I didn't want to tow my boat, you know, 12 hours to Texas from here. So I just left it with them and everything worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna go check in with Dylan now. But yeah, these service guys are like amazing. If you need your, your mercury service, whether you run Nitro, uh, Triton, Ranger, doesn't matter. If you have a mercury outboard and all the other outboards, they'd be glad to receive them and service your engine. So I think I see my boat over there. So let's go check in with them and see what they did. How you doing, man? Just want to come is that speak, a fucking say hey. It doing, is, man? it is, it is. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Man. On the way back from the college event on Red River. So. Oh, yeah? yeah. Ooh, look at your skag, dude. Yeah. Did that happen there? No, that yeah. actually happened at the Nationals last year at Winyaw. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah that place sucked. Smoked it at Santee. Nice rig, dude. So you're going from Red River to home? Yep, I'm going straight home. Submitted my final essay literally like in the truck nice pulling into louisiana look at these so, guys dude these college kids these days yeah, dude. we're done we're done for the semester praise god nice, and then, uh, pack up and get the national championship yeah we're uh, charles and i we're traveling from south carolina back to texas we're like you know what i haven't done my oil change i was like i'm just gonna have someone else do it and so i've had uh i've had this boat here for the last week and everything worked out great, so I'm picking it up now. I just want to come speak. It was right nice on, meeting man. you, man. Absolutely. We're hey, gonna head on travels. home. All right, brother. Safe travels. Hey, safe for y'all. Good luck next week. Yep. Thank you. There he is, man. What's up, Dylan? How you doing? I'm new to Mercury, I'm new to Nitro, I'm new to Bass Pro Shop. So it's kind of run me through, is it a 50 hour service or 100 hour service? So it, it's, we do 100 hour or yep. once a year. Okay, gotcha. Um, so engine oil, filter, yep. oil engine filter, oil. engine oil, yep. 
uh, lube for the most part, and then just all moving just, parts. Just yep. greased everything up. Nice. You're, uh, dude, you didn't wash it for me, bro. I'm sorry, well, man. Dude, come you on, know, man. It, it was supposed to rain, honestly. I, yeah, and when you're thinking said, it's just gonna wash it nice, off. Nice, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, I really appreciate it. Yeah, she looks good. I know um, Dad had zero time to do any maintenance on, so I probably yeah. have like literally like 60, 70 hours uh, on it. And you, I have, had, you had 62.8. 62.8. Look at this guy. He knows everything. All right, so yeah, we're right on schedule. I think uh, Mercury recommends either i think in the handbook it says 100 hours or 50 100 hours i think is that yeah so bass pro recommends 100 hours 100 or hours. once a year once whichever a year. one comes Got first it. okay cool. um and then every three years do water pump okay um, and that belt gets changed it nice runs that alternator man thank you so much dude so lay lake is only like 45 minutes from here and uh yeah are we gonna see you at the weigh-in at all or no are you gonna come out hang out uh probably out Maybe. there saturday saturday cool dude well, Dylan, I appreciate it, bro. Let me uh, let me take care of the ticket, and I'll have Trey hook up to this thing, and I'll get going. Yes, sir. Hold it above their head. Cool. All right. Well, I'm probably have to, I'm probably gonna grab the dogs and just meet them. Yeah, absolutely. You wanna walk around there with the dogs real quick? Yeah, they need it. I look like a hobo. I'm well, in, I'm in like pajamas. You look like a crack kid. Well, let me go get the dogs. <laughs> I'm getting all these monkeys together. <laughs> Shop around, I guess. Come on, Micah. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to pick one out. <laughs> yeah, you can't take him anywhere. <laughs> Dude, look at the top water pellet. Dude, that is so awesome. Out of all the times I've been to Bass Pro Shops, I've never seen a feeding, a fish feed. I've seen the alligators fed before, but never the fish. They're like top water in it. It's like a six pound spot. Couple empty pegs. Anyway, what do we got? What do we got, buddy? You want these? All right, you guys are buying the dangerous swimmers. That's awesome to see. I know you guys are catching fish on them. And when you do catch a fish on them, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I want to see all these big giants that you guys are catching on that swim bait right there. Hey, that was fun. I got to visit the uh, Leeds, Alabama store here. They have a really good selection here. Rods, reels, everything. Like it varies from shop store to store. So from South Carolina all the way over here, we stopped at a couple of these stores and this one's actually got a lot of, a lot of like, I would say like tour grade and like pro grade. <laughs> look at Trey, look like, at Trey. She's about to sound the alarm. <laughs> I know, I'm trying not to set it off. That guy goes, that's the security door. Anyway, selection here is legit. So if you're ever passing through on I-20, Leeds, Alabama, just outside of Birmingham, make sure you stop in and check this store out. Also, see Dylan, because that guy's a man. Yes, sir. crap about me in the comments. I've never done this. I forgot I had the trailer on the back. I totally whipped out of there. I didn't even fill the boat because it's a lifeboat. You're not gonna like what you see. Unbelievable. I smoked that thing. Look at this. My, my trailer's got it way worse. You've been out of the game way too long. I yeah. Haven't, I haven't pulled a boat since the classic. I went home and honestly I hope I didn't hit anything else in your parking lot because I whipped out of there, like, and then whipped around, and then I heard it, and I was like, I got a boat. Oh, so, uh, tell me what I need to sign and pay for. Oh, this is a used boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This okay, is a. Good. I was trying to That's find good. that piece of skag, and it I can't find it. I thought this was a new boat, but it looks like it's been, it's already been out. No, this is a guy who's come in for a uh, oh, light a install. Yeah. Oh, it's a dude. All right. Well, yeah. then, Trey, you get to talk to that guy. 
but I'm pretty positive that that skeg, maybe, I can't find the piece of the skeg, so I'm hoping, you know, I've been looking for it. I'll replace it. Obviously, I still owe him at the very least the prop, but I'll take care of this game too. It is my fault. I say this, I'm glad that that happened versus me like somehow making it out there and still not clicking. I had a boat behind me. Never, never looked in a mirror, nothing. It's okay. Light me up in the comments. You know what? I make mistakes. I heard something and I was like, sure. I know, not. that's what that's what I heard it and I was like, I have a boat. You didn't I looked feel at that? I looked at Chris. No, I didn't feel it. I looked at Chris and then I heard his phone ring. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. It's all me, dude. I make mistakes, okay? I almost did not like stop. But I was like, what was that sound? Like I swear I never felt it. Look at my It's a skeg embedded in a tire. Yeah, it was. Question of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Maddie Wong. I know. That's exactly what I said. Hey, hey exactly you just wanted him to match. You just wanted him to match. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. That's what I get for being like, how did he do that? Well, everyone in the comments is going to be like, how did she do that? It happens. Dude, 12 years. 12 years. Uh, I should have seen me fly out of that spot. Hey, that's a testament to that tundra. I never even felt it. Talking all that crap about. Yeah, that's what I feel like. That this. was uh, me. Uh, well, it's okay. Not prop shots, not bad. Let me go look the work over there. Yeah. Alright, I texted you my ID card. Uh, wait, it wasn't give broken me. before. Shoot it. Shoot. Well. Taylor, appreciate it again. Yes, sir. John, sorry about that. Thank okay. you. Sorry. Chris, Taylor, nice Taylor. to meet you. Sorry about all that. That's okay. We got the worst of it. So let us know what the what the owner says. Like I said, we're we're 30 minutes away all week. So all right. yeah. cool. Yes, sir. Thanks, See you, brother. Thank you. Well, the one positive is I know what the thumbnail is for this video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I feel you. 100. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, I'm tomorrow on the phone in Birmingham at like six. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, all right, we'll holler if you need anything, dude. Okay. Cool. Right. See you later. All right, dude. All right. Later. Scott Martin called just to just to talk about his 29 pound bag on Okeechobee today. That that uh, where where did he finish? He said there was 20 bags over 30 today on Lake Okeechobee, mm -hmm. and we're sitting here fishing Lay Lake, which you know 15 pounds is going to be good. That's that's impressive. To catch 29 pounds on frogs and like barely get a check probably the best lake in the country that's that's pretty amazing <laughs> that's our buddies from uh, last week that's McCoy and the camera guys driving Scott Martin's truck <laughs> that's awesome all right so like things are calming down after traits a little incident Michi's Got a poop, I think. Nebo's chasing squirrels. We just pulled up to the RV uh, campsite here. And uh, yeah, we're in Alabama. We're definitely in Alabama. This is, uh, <laughs> we're in the woods, man. So while we kind of figure out where our campsite is and, and break down and every, or set up, not break down, but set up, um, yeah, Charles will have you guys just kind of cruising. But I may ask Charles to help me out with a few things. So over the next day. Okay, over the next 30 minutes or so, we're going to be setting up camp. And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I'm scraping something. Yep, scraping trees. Thanks for that, partner. Oh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't go this way because of that thing was parked right there. So, yep, thanks again for that. really <laughs> I got you. We're good from here. <laughs> she said you're in the country. <laughs> you know you're in the country when all the neighbors come out to see what what's going on. Sorry about that. You're good, Mike. You're if good, I could brother. Talked to you before you got you're in. Good. It would have been. So you like easy, that? You like that? That's perfect. Yeah. Just and then you can back or forth any which way you'd okay. like. Okay. All right. Internet's working. 
Everything's done. About to crack me a sparkling water here. A lot of excitement today. I didn't know what was gonna happen when we left the house at like 4.15, 4.30 this morning. I didn't know if things would, I thought it would just be another boring day. Well, Trait lighting it up. Look at her, she's, I think she's, I think she's talking to the insurance company right now. Aggressive's on the line right now. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, a lot happened today. We're here, we're set up, everything's good. We are in the sticks of Alabama. You know that because everyone came out to, to help me back this giant rig and like I've never done it before. I really appreciate it, it's that Southern hospitality thing, but I don't know if we're in the South. It doesn't feel like we're in the South. It feels like we're, feels like we're in like West Virginia or something. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, tomorrow's tackle day, so it's gonna be a super chill day. Tomorrow, uh, if you made it this far in this video, stay tuned though, because tomorrow I'm gonna give some secrets up on how I'm gonna approach this tournament. I love the tournaments where it's a fresh lake, it's fresh everything, which means I can't slack on my, my rod rigging. Everything has gotta be cocked, locked, and ready to roll. Um, and what I mean by that is it's a it's it's a very unfamiliar lake, so we're gonna break it down together. But I want to show you guys all the rods, reels, lines, and baits um, I'm gonna be rigging up for the this month in this part of the country. So I'm going to bed. You guys stay tuned. <laughs>